In this video, we will go over the anatomy of the knee joint. The knee joint, structural-wise, it is a hinge synovial joint. Functional-wise, it is diarthritic joint. Starting with the bones, first, right here, we have the femur, the bone in the thigh. We have the tibia, the medial bone of the leg, and we have the fibula, the lateral bone of the leg. Starting with the first two collateral ligaments. This right here is the fibular collateral ligament. Fibula because it is attached to the fibula. On the opposite side, we have the tibial collateral ligament, which is attached to the tibia. Moving to this part, right here we have the patella, the kneecap. The patella is a sesamoid bone in shape. It is located within a ligament. This ligament is called the patellar ligament. The patellar ligament is attached to the tibial tuberosity, the structure on the tibia. Whereas this part right here, this is a tendon. This is the biceps femoris muscle tendon. So a ligament is different from a tendon. On this side, we can see the patella right here. On the femur, we can see the patellar surface. Moving to the menisci of the knee. This C-shaped fibrocartilage structure, this is a meniscus. We have two meniscus. This one right here is the lateral meniscus. The fibula, which is the lateral bone of the leg, will guide you toward the lateral aspect, and this is the lateral meniscus. Whereas, on the opposite side, this right here is the medial meniscus. Posteriorly, we can see the two meniscus. This right here, where the fibula is the lateral meniscus, and this is the medial meniscus. These right here are the condyles of the femur. This is the medial condyle. The tibia guides us toward the medial aspect, and this is the lateral condyle. Between them, we have the intercondylar notch, also called the intercondylar fossa. Moving to the two crochet ligaments, we have the anterior crochet ligament, which forms an X with the posterior crochet ligament. So this is anteriorly, and this is toward the back. That's why it is the posterior crochet ligament. So posteriorly, we can see the posterior crochet ligament right here. This right here is another ligament, which is called the posterior menisco-femoral ligament. It runs between the meniscus and the femur. 